Hey guys, welcome to TechnoShare. In this video, I'll be reviewing the device known as Energy Monitor or PowerGuard by Miko. Over the couple of years, we have seen that our electricity bills have been going up and we have a ton of devices and appliances around us that are kept turned on most of the time even when we are not using it. So using this energy monitor, we can now find out what appliances can be plugged in and what needs to be turned off and thus we can cut down the cost of electricity. Now let's see what all features this energy monitor has got to offer us. So this model is called the PG07 which supports current up to 10 amps. It's got an LCD display on the front and four buttons uh, below it. Now these buttons are used to uh, select the modes and options for operating the uh, unit. Uh, below this buttons you can see that it's got a three pin uh, uh, socket and this socket is compatible with uh, most of the plug types used in uh, other countries. Now on the back side we can see that uh, it's got a three pin uh, plug that needs to be uh, plugged into the wall socket. This model works on uh, voltage of 220 volts, uh, 50 hertz and a maximum current of uh, 10 amps. Uh, the power consumption by the device itself is roughly around 1 watt. Um, so it's got some safety features as well wherein it issues a warning on the display screen when it reaches its peak load. So as you know the maximum peak current it can handle is roughly about 10 amps and uh, the device should not be operated for more than 10 minutes as it can damage the electronics inside it. So let me connect this device to an extension box so that I can give you a quick demo. And um, I also bought this uh, socket adapter as most of the sockets in my house are not compatible with this type of plug that comes within the uh, unit. So I have plugged in the energy monitor to the power source and now I am going to turn on the switch. So as you can see now it is displaying 0 watts as the usage of uh, the power right now because I have not connected any device uh, to this energy monitor. So what I am going to do is um, this is the charger for my Nexus 6P device here and this charger is rated around 5 volt 3 amps. So let's see what are the readings after I plug in this. So as you can see it is currently drawing a power of 17 watts to charge my phone. I will just walk you through the uh, functions of each of the buttons here. So pressing it once will bring up the backlighting which is blue in color. So I will press the button again and it will show me the consumption of current which is in milliamps. So as you can see it is currently drawing uh, 117 milliamps. So I'll press this again and it will show me the current uh, voltage. So which is around uh, 220 volt AC uh, in India. And uh, pressing it again will show me the frequency uh, which is 50 hertz. So I'll press this again and it shows the total time of usage of uh, the energy which is currently uh, 92 minutes. Uh, now I press this again and uh, it will show me the cumulative total energy consumption by the uh, device in kilowatt hour. And next it shows the carbon emissions measured in kilograms. So now I will connect my monitor to this device and show you how much uh, power it draws. So now I have plugged in my Dell monitor to the power guard and uh, this is a 27 inch LED monitor and I am just going to switch it on. So it is drawing roughly around 25 watts. Uh, let me show you the settings that I have. So I have kept it at 50% brightness and 50% contrast. So let me just increase the brightness now and see how the power varies. So with the full brightness it is drawing a power of 40 watts. And now I am going to increase the contrast. 
So increasing the contrast is not making any difference in the consumption of power. So still it's drawing a power of 40 watts, although increased the contrast from 50% to 100%. So let me bring this completely down and see. So with zero brightness and zero contrast, it's roughly drawing a power of 16 watts. So I'll put this monitor on standby mode and let's see how much power it consumes. So now you can see that the monitor has entered the standby mode and the power consumption has almost gone to zero. So you can see that it's showing zero watt usage. So guys that's all I had to say about the Miko power guard. Uh, I have been using this for a couple of days and it has given me a good idea on the uh, power consumptions by various devices or appliances that I use. So this is available on Amazon for around 2000 rupees. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video and uh, if you liked it please uh, do give it a thumbs up and uh, Please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.